Each year we choose a different theme and we've taken on uh, different themes. We started with aging in the first year. We've gone through different ones and this year of course is design for play for children. Each year it evolves. Each year we have uh, new input, new ideas, but uh, it's always the same excitement and creativity around this one event. It's not only changed thematically, it's also been, it's a major growth. So more of the communities involved. This year we brought in uh, high school students. So one of the local high schools joined us. We often do like dismiss normal like things. If, like if we see people with a cane, we're like, oh, it's not that hard. But then when you actually try it to open doors or even to like cross like from room to room, it's more difficult than you would imagine. The empathy exercises are the start of the process for the design-a-thon and it's really important that they are the seed to generate all of the ideas and the solutions that come up. When you're talking about designing for other people, it's really hard to imagine how their experiences could be different than yours. And I think that is the key to solving a lot of problems. It's like we only know what we know and what we feel and the things that happen to us. Design empathy. We, we can't really design for others if we don't understand uh, their needs. And, and we're not going to understand their needs unless we try to walk in their shoes. And I think that's a big component of what we do here at Designathon. For designers, it makes us far more conscious of the percentiles that we need to design for. It's not just designing for the middle of the road, so-called average person. We have to design for the person at the 95th percentile, at the 5th percentile, um, as far of a range as we can stretch. Once they created the product, they present it to a panel of judges that would choose the best product. Our role was really to look and listen to everything and then to discuss amongst ourselves really which project would be the most interesting one to pursue through to a next level. For me, watching the students solve problems that were previously unsolvable is, is directly connected to what we ask our students to do in the design studio every day.